December 10th, October 29th. So that's a nice big Martin. Uh, we're doing nicely here. No complaints. This is a new line. Need some more trail making because it's pretty ugly. It's more of an Argo track. You can hardly even tell. But... Anyway, off we go. Okay, there's uh, Martin number 15. This is a female. I just caught a big, a big male. And uh, still got about a dozen to go here today. It's, uh, Halloween, last day of November, last day of October. So we're ahead of schedule anyway. I got a wolf hunter coming today and a moose hunter this week, so I'm gonna be a busy boy. Okay, November 6th, I think it is today. That's right. It's a nice dark, dark mark. That's two for the day, let's have to make 32. And we're gonna hunt, run another eight here. I was hoping to take my client Dan who's run the camera on a, to float these lakes with the Argo, but everything froze on us. So I'll show him the lake, but that's about all we can do until it's snowmobile time. Nice, Martin. Oh, he's a beauty, yeah. And how many flying squirrels? Today? None. No, one. One. That's good. That's one too many. <laughs> Some pretty fur. So we put this back in here like so. Get out the old gusto. <laughs> good perfume. They like that yeah. perfume. My pocket smells great. <laughs> Haven's Gusto. I don't even know the guy, but I'll put him a little plug. This is the best Martin lure I got for early season anyway. Really strong, pungent skunk odor. Works good. Later in the winter, I, I switch to others. Stronger? So I'll or talk about later. Hmm? Stronger lure? It's different. Uh -huh. It's different. It's, the thing is, this is, like, you know, for the amount of it, you put a little bit on a stick, you can't do much more. 18 bucks a bottle, you don't have a long. What, what I use in the winter is I buy it by the gallon and I use big gobs of it. Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay. Let's head for the cargo. We're going to the trapper's cabin tonight. Spend the night there and do some moose hunting tomorrow, next couple of days. Drop a little bit. Okay, off we go. Fisher. Rare. Well, well, they're not rare, but they're not as common as Martin. Like, for me, I end up usually catching one or two for every hundred Martin that I catch. So this is the first one of the year. Maybe this is the year I'll catch a few more, I don't know. These are, this is a nice one, though. You never know where you're going to find a Fisher. You see his tracks. They travel far and wide, yeah, huh? They travel far. It just got him by the head, didn't it? Yeah. That's usually how you get a fisher. They don't usually get too far further <laughs> in there than that. And if you have this trap here, which I find the best, that's an LDL with that killing bar. Yeah. And that kills them dead. If you catch them in a Victor or something else, a Belial's pretty strong. But a Victor, that he'll wrestle all over the damn place. Sometimes break the wire. You got to track them. Mm -hmm. That thing kills them. So what's that? Two Martin and a Fisher today. That's right. That's pretty good. We just got started. And the day's young. Day's young. Up here, but the other guys catch more than me different areas the same procedure yeah basically not a lot of them catch as many martin as i do but. yeah 
here's a nice uh, red fox in a snare. Um, that pole there that's laying down that little birch pole is just hanging over the trail, and he walks under it. When he gets tight, when he gets it on his neck, they always tangle up real fast. It's not like a wolf. So he died pretty quick. That's a nice pelt. 150 Martin, 153 Martin we're at right now. It's January the 29th, 28th, 28th, I guess. Here's a nice Martin, number three today. So that's 158. And I missed a goddamn wolf back here. He walked around the friggin' snare. So anyway, this trail will stay trapping because it's on my way to a winter trail, so I'll keep it running. And go by it every couple of weeks, pick up what's in it. Only two more months. Well, here's uh, 181. I got a wolf hunter hunting today. I got to go check on him. That's two Martin today. No cats. Cats made a fool of me so far today. Only got one and, uh, and two other lynx ate it. So there's only, it was just junk. I'll just use them for bait to what's left of it. So I'm uh, about, oh, I guess 10 miles from camp. I'll be there in a couple of hours. I'm gonna check more traps here. Okay, here's the lynx number six in my lynx box. See, there's a, a, a lynx inside there, and you can see it that got half eaten. So I threw it in there on top of the bait. So now I got, uh, he was sitting in there. He was sort of just laying just like that. That trap killed him, he never moved. But now I'm gonna do some other little trick here I'm gonna show you. I got my other one. Got this idea at Christmas and I walked into the store. Uh, turn that little fucker on. Let's see him resist that. The only bad news is I don't have a trap to replace this one here. I should just stick a snare there, I guess. It's getting late. I gotta get going before dark. I gotta turn that thing around, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I should put it the other way. Yeah, I'm gonna put it the other way since I got no trap over here. Oh, that's gonna work. Okay, I gotta get going here. Well, here's my little skin and shed. You can come on in here a bit and show it around if you want. This is what we caught yesterday. This this one's still thawing out, so I get the trap off it. That was a couple days ago, and then all these Martin and the rest of the other 150 are gone. So we're after the next hundred now. Uh, what am I at today? 194. Hopefully I can get a few more today and get to 200 before the end of the week. I'll have some more film. Well here is Lynx number 7. Son of a bitch. They're fucking Lynx, I'll tell you. They're famous cannibals. But this is uh... They've eaten three out of seven on me now. I'm gonna have to thin them out for sure. But their eyes don't have nothing. Here's a teeter totter trap I call them like that trap is set on a on a little nail when it went off. He pulled it free and it lifts them into the sky. Keeps some ice off them. That's number 206 for the year, February 14th today. And that's the last trap on the run, so I just got to check a bunch of lynx traps on the way home. And that's it for Martin today, anyway, 206. That's pretty good, though.
Two more to go to beat my record. Well, boys and girls, it's uh, February 15th, and that is number 208. That is the record I set last year. Nice day down there out of the wind. So I've got uh, to the 28th to improve on this. Next one is 209, That's that'll be my new record. It's Friday and uh, we're about halfway through here. Okay, here's number 2000, 2000, 209. New record for me, trapping. I set this trap the other day, there was a Martin coming off that mountain there, coming off this valley, I don't know if you can see here. The scooter's still running right there. See those cliffs there? Anyway, he's still warm. I mean, he just got caught. And I missed a couple foxes, so now I gotta run up here and check a few more traps, straighten them all out, and then get out of here. All right. Okay, here's the Skidoo Trail. I just came through and back here. There's where the snare was. And there he weighs. All wrapped up. Perfect. I just put the snare, put a new snare, put it right back and back in action. There was two links came down here together and the ones been walking all around them. I'm lucky I didn't lose this guy. Because they eat each other. They're famous for it. I've lost three already. Looks like a young one, nice colors. Okay, that makes 11. February, uh, the hell is it? 17th. Okay, wolf trip. Second wolf trip, eh? Second wolf, Second wolf trip. My first. Dave's first. So Second. we're gonna try and kill a wolf. We're going into camp here. Here's the date. The bait trailer along with everything else that's in there already. And then I'll go trapping after that and come home tonight. These guys are staying and I'm gonna be back. I'll come in on Sunday night and check on everybody, I guess, and see what the hell the And you got a phone, eh? Got a phone. Okay. Okay, here's Martin uh, number 216. And you can see that little hole there. That's the cubby under the snow. He got caught before this last snow. And uh, that pole picks it up. I'll, I'll show you if I can get out of it, I'll, I'll reset it. Chain's on a little nail. It's a small little finishing nail on the tree there. Trap goes off. If it doesn't kill him instantly, usually he'll bounce that chain a bit. It'll pop off the thing, lifts himself in the air, and then I don't have to worry about mice so much. Eating. Eating. Okay, it's the end of the season. This is number 222 on the last, very last trap I'm picking up. That's been quite a year, that's my record so far. Beautiful day. And we'll just concentrate on wolves after this for a month and then beaver. Well, not a bad catch for the uh, end of the season here. Nice big fisher of number four for the year. I can't, I lost count of cats, maybe 18 or something, a dozen foxes. So yeah, been a good season. Beautiful day. And we'll just chase wolves from here on in now.
Well, we're just about at the end of trapping season. And uh, let's see, bear hunting went 100%, moose hunting was poor. We got one hit in archery season and uh, it wasn't recovered. It was a big bull shot on the shoulder blade. And I, I didn't do any guiding in the fall. One fellow we hunted late in the fall, who we trapped mostly. We didn't really hunt much and we didn't get any moose. Bart, uh, the trapping season went real good. 100, no, 222 Martin, 60 beavers, four fisher, 10 or 10 fox or so, I guess. 16 wolves, I don't know, 8, eight 9, 10 otters, handful of mink, couple, three mink, not very many. So it was a good year. All that's left is uh, wolves for a bit, and then we'll start spring beaver. It's March now. I'm not sure what day. The sun's strong, the snow's starting to melt. We can ice fish for a little while longer. And then, uh, then when the rivers open up, we'll start trapping spring beaver. That'll be, uh, that'll be it until we start baiting for bears all over again. So if anybody's interested in a, a hunting trip or a trapping trip, and, uh, you can see some of this country up here is just gorgeous. I love being up here. Won't be spring for a while. It's a long time coming up this far. Yeah, we do wolf hunting trips. Drop line tours, you know, two, three days, four days, five days, whatever the fellow wants or gal wants. Moose hunts, bear hunts. Give us a call.